So I started a seven crore company with only rupees 15,000 from my college friend's room at the age of 22. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. Hi, my name is Rohan Thavan and I'm the founder and CEO of Uability. So far, we have served 800 plus clients and we have helped them get premium clients all across the globe. Why do I do this? Because I believe talent should not have borders and I want people like yourself to really just spread your skills all over the globe. Now, the reason why I make these videos is to really document my own journey and the journey of a lot of my clients who are generating crores and crores in sales. So I wanted to make these videos so you can gain some value out of them for absolutely free and hopefully work with me and my team someday to grow your business. So that being said, let's just get straight into the content. So before I actually tell you how I went about starting Uability, let's just back up a little bit and tell me tell you a little bit about my background. So at the age of 18, I started a digital marketing agency that was helping e-commerce store owners and um, coaches across the globe to really amplify their marketing, get more leads and eventually convert them into clients. So that's exactly what I was doing. And I was doing pretty well for my age. At, at that time, I was generating around uh, seven to eight lakh rupees per month um, at, at age, age 18 while I was studying for college. So it wasn't a bad thing. And after that, after my agency, uh, you know, I even did a job as the chief marketing officer for 1% group, which is a multi-million dollar company. Um, help them, you know, really uh, get, generate a lot of leads. And I also learned a lot about the coaching industry in general. So that being said, uh, that, that was a quick background of mine. So what started happening is, um, you know, I, even though I was do, like, you know, doing all right, um, I, I just didn't feel like I was making much of an impact. This means I didn't feel like as if I was changing a lot of lives. So I remember having this conversation where I was sitting in this penthouse uh, that was sponsored by the company. It was a million dollar penthouse in Australia in St. Kilda, Melbourne. And I remember having this conversation with my dad saying that, you know, I, I just don't uh, feel it. You know, I, I just don't feel uh, happy. And, you know, the way I thought things would be, it just didn't turn out to be exactly like that. So while that was happening, in the meantime, I was getting a lot of messages from my friends and, uh, and colleagues in India who were asking me, hey, Rohan, you know, how are you going about getting these clients to pay you such premium prices? You know, I was charging three three thousand, four thousand dollars. Um, in today's time now, I don't consider that as premium price, but to a lot of people, it was premium. Uh, so, you know, a lot of people started asking me, how am I doing that? So what I did is I, I understood that, you know, there, there's, there's some sort of an opportunity out there, but I didn't take much action other than just talking to a friend of mine who is Australian. And um, what happened is we were talking and I just started asking him, hey, you know, do you hire other Indians as well for your for your business requirements and other things. And, and he replied to me, and you know, you could probably see that in front of your screen. He replied to me that, you know, Rohan, I, I trust you, I love you. Uh, that's, that's why I do business with you. But a lot of Australians actually struggle to, um, you know, do business with Indians because, you know, they've had some bad experiences in the past. And it's, it's just not a good image that, you know, I saw. Um, in, in the eyes of at least that person and you know that that kind of hurt me and that kind of triggered me so what I did was I just connected two and two I realized that okay there are people who just don't know how to charge premium who still need to work on their marketing skills and their business skills to reach out to these premium clients and then there are these these clients all over the globe who are just you know uncertain uh, if, if that particular person will be able to fulfill their requires, what if it turns out to be a scam or what if it doesn't work out? You know, how, how do they confirm the authenticity? So clearly there was a market requirement. And what I did was I decided to uh, literally say goodbye to all my clients. I left my job as well. Um, and, you know, I, I, I was back at zero, right? So imagine just all the way from going from um, making around seven, eight lakhs a month to, you know, you just being at zero. Now, a lot of people think that, you know, that was kind of stupid to just let go of your clients. But in my opinion, I wouldn't have taken much action if I would have still remained in my comfort zone. 
that's why you know all those gurus who advise that hey you could work part time and you know you could start your business and everything in my opinion i i just personally have seen people who really succeed and myself as well like you have to go all in if you really wanted to succeed so that's what i did i cut all my threads and uh, i i i was like okay now what do i do so at that time i was in australia and uh, i decided to uh, move to uk Uh, I I think I think I moved to my ex girlfriend's room because I wanted to save up. Now I was relying on my savings, and my income had become zero. So that's what I did. I went to my ex girlfriend's uh, you know room, and I I was just literally just you know chilling there. <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna lie, and. Um, weeks passed by and you know obviously some of my friends started asking me so rohan what do you do like what will you do now and uh, you know what exactly is your position uh, what are your career goals and all those things so just like what any unemployed person would say with ambition uh, that hey i'm an entrepreneur so that's what i said i i used to tell people um, that i'm an entrepreneur but a lot of them used to ask me what's my preneur and i didn't have an answer because i didn't have any business going on i just had these ideas and i just realized that there was a problem but i hadn't yet executed it so that's what i started to do um you know i mean a lot of brainstorming was going on that that time so i decided you know forget this brainstorming forget the forget the uh, you know overthinking part and let's just do it because these answers won't come to me within my head the answers are within the market so i need to go to uh, you know talk to my market and actually validate this idea and this hypothesis that i had in my mind so now i want to talk about the steps the exact steps that i actually took to go out there and validate my idea and get my first client for you ability so step number 1 i made a list of all the problems that i could think of that my clients actually had uh, so just by talking to a lot of my friends and colleagues I, as i mentioned before i had learned that there are a lot of problems you know uh, a lot of indian business owners didn't know how to you know do sales properly how to negotiate how to do marketing how to and deliver their clients amazing results and this was a very big problem and um, what i did was i made a list and i i made sure that you know i i'm i'm covering all those areas and nothing is actually missed out so they need help with sales i wrote that they need help with marketing um, you know they don't know how to get clients they they are they don't, they don't know how to fulfill clients i basically made a list of all those things and i made sure that i'm not looking at just anybody you know I I didn't target manufacturers or anybody. I just thought that hey, what have I done in the past? Well, I provided services and advice in the past, so let me just find people who are similar to me and just try to help them out, right? So that's what I did. I narrowed down to a specific market and made a list of all their problems. So that's step number 1, make a list of the problems of your target market. Step number 2, uh, what I decided to do is I made a list of all the skills that I had. So over time and this is one important key lesson for you if you're watching this you know one time will come when you know everything could be stripped away from you like money could be gone money could be taken away your house your uh, car or whatever you flaunt about uh, could be taken away from you but one thing that won't be taken away from you are your skills okay that's why you must have heard a lot of successful entrepreneurs say hey if they take everything away from me i'll be back in the game within no time because i have the skills okay so just don't take away my skills so that's exactly what happened i made a list of all my skills and i saw uh, you know wrote down that hey i know how to run ads i know how to do marketing i know how to do uh, you know a little bit sales um i know how to do delivery fulfillment i know how to do coaching um sales i i was all right at it i would say like average but i wasn't like great at it i mean nowhere close to what i am today so that's like one skill that i highlighted in red and i was like okay this is something that I really need to work on because it's not just going to benefit me but my clients as well so yeah like step 2 just make a list of all the skills that you have so just going to do a quick recap step 1 make a list of all the problems step 2 um just make a list of all the skills that you have and then step number 3 what i did is i decided okay you know there are so many ways to actually reach out to the marketplace right you can do webinars you can do whatsapp class you can do um what like um upsells downsells and all those different kind of funnels that are out there book funnel right 
I decided to keep things simple because uh, thankfully uh, I had been on, uh, you know, part of the industry before. So I realized that you know what works is keeping things simple. So here's a business lesson for you. If you want to do anything, if you're about to start any project, make sure it's simple. If it can't be documented on one page, it's too complex. So that's what I did. I decided to um, you know take my um, computer right, and I just decided to put down some slides, created a 30 minute video that literally explains, uh, you know, who I am, what I do and how I can help these people who uh, I'm trying, trying to target, which was anybody in India selling advice or services looking to get clients globally. So that's what I did. And uh, honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. At that point, my market was so specific. I wasn't even going after coaches or anyone. I was going after only marketing agency owners. So that's how specific I was. And uh, yeah, I basically created a 30 minute video that explains what I do and how I can help them. Recorded it, took me less than one day, got a new domain name called it uability.in, uh, built it on a WordPress website. I think total cost was around 2000 rupees uh, or 30, 35 dollars and uh, launched my website and I was good to go. Now, once my website was launched, you know, uh, and once my video was there, now the next thing comes, you know, how do I actually get traffic to it? So I'm just going to quickly recap these steps. Step number one was I made a list of all their problems. Step number two, I actually made sure that I have the skills necessary to solve their problems. And I also identified the skills that I really need to work on. For example, sales. Step number three, I basically uh, created a simple uh, website and a funnel with a video. Uh, that's a simple funnel uh, that allows me to actually gauge the interest of my marketplace. And uh, then the next thing that I did was uh, step number four. Uh, I, I made a list of all the different ways of marketing that will allow me to reach to my target audience. Now, there are a lot of people out there who say that, hey, you should only do videos or you should only do audio or you should only do podcasts or ads or whatever, right? And the reason why they say that is because they're trying to make money out of that particular project. So I literally don't care about it or I just ignore them, right? So what you need to do is you need to identify what are you good at, right? Are you good at making videos are you good at speaking or audio only right so if you're good at videos go with youtube if you're good at uh, podcast start a podcast right i personally i was good at ads and data right so i knew how to numbers work how to the ad interface and everything work and i knew if i could spend one rupee i had a little bit confidence because of my past that i could actually make that one rupee into two rupees three rupees or even more which thankfully i was able to do so that's what i decided to do created a Facebook page. I'm not going to lie to you, created a logo and all that stuff from canva.com, pretty simple to do, and just launch some ads, right? And the ads were sending traffic to that 30 minute video that I had recorded. And with that 30 minute video below that, there was a small button which allowed people to book a call with me and talk to me. And that's what I did. <laughs> so, you know, that's, that's how I started getting traffic. So I'm just going to summarize this. Uh, step number one, made a list of all their problems. Step number two, actually identified the skills. Step number three, I created a simple uh, marketing system that will allow me to attract my clients. Step number four, I started getting traffic using a medium that I'm really good at, which was ads. For you, it might be different. And then step number five, I started doing calls with them. Now, I wanted feedback from my clients instantly. I didn't want to do a whole webinar and, you know, wait you know, to actually get, get feedback. If I wanted to fail, I wanted to fail fast so that I could learn from my market and actually improve upon my product or service and my offer so that I could actually uh, bring out something better to the marketplace, right? And most people, they try to actually go about doing these gimmicks and, uh, you know, if their webinar doesn't work, they're like, oh, it's because there wasn't a timer or there was not a timer in my webinar. That's the reason why my webinar didn't work. That's absolutely crazy. So what I did is, I got people on a call, I was talking to them, and I was literally doing WhatsApp calls uh, from UK to India uh, because I was too, you know, cheap to actually, um, you know, invest in the international calling SIM card. And that's like one, I don't know, lesson that, you know, you want to take away, be a bunya, right? That's like, uh, one, uh, and, and do jugar, right? I don't know if you know these words, but basically try to actually get something done as efficiently and effectively as possible, uh, especially when you're starting out in the early days. Now, this is a very tiny example, but I hope it tries to uh, put the point across, right? 
So that's what I did. Um, I started generating calls and I remember the first person who had booked this call with me, his name was Sovik. And uh, Sovik, I decided to ring him up on WhatsApp. And Sovik, if you're watching this, love to you, man. Uh, thank you for believing in me because you're not going to believe what happened. Like this was like a miracle or I don't know, you call it luck or whatever you know make sense i wouldn't call it luck because i think it was like the years of hard work that went into this um so what happened is i picked up the phone and talked to sovik and rather than doing that you know what other people do hey please buy please buy please buy i sat down and understood what problem sovik had so he told me that you know this is my problem and uh, i'm not able to get clients and whatever things he said it happened a long time ago i don't remember the exact words but i remember at the end telling him that okay i think i can help you out so i'll do this step one step two step three or whatever right and i'm not kidding on the call itself i invented the name and called it you ability elite and so it was like all right let's do it and i was like oh you want to do it uh, you want to actually move forward and he's like yeah let's do it and i was like Okay, uh, so I had created this payment link on Insta Mojo. I just sent it to him and, uh, you know, he signed up and he paid me. And I, I, it's not like I charged him like 1,000, 2,000 rupees. It was a good amount. And like, it was great. Like, I, I was like, what just happened, right? I just converted somebody um, to actually believe in my hypothesis. And from so on and so forth, further, you know, as I went on into the journey, I got more clients and just started helping them and please note that one important thing i didn't have uh, you know what i was selling to sovik ready all i had was like the first uh, probably lecture or first slides that i was about to share with him ready the other things they were still in under construction mode and i didn't want to create them because i wanted real-time feedback of sovik and other clients like such that will allow me to create material that they would be able to understand and as a result they would be able to get results now that's what i did for coaching and i used a similar principle um, when i was uh, you know providing services as well rather than like hiring people and doing all that stuff I would rather try to come up with the most cost efficient option and try to help my client first and try to sell them before actually building. And there's an important reason for this because in the past I've made the mistake of, you know, um, creating uh, these, these, these huge brands with like the best colors, best watermark, best logo. And then when I launched them, turns out nobody bought anything. So I've, you know, by now, like, I live with the principle get your product to the market fast test it fast and see if it sells okay don't focus on recording your courses or hiring people or building that team or that logo or that website nobody cares stop procrastinating go out get to the market and sell right so just gonna do a quick recap step number one identify problems step two i actually went on to identify what skills match step three i actually made a simple website and a funnel that had a 30 minute video uh, and then step four i basically started identifying what marketing medium am i good at i learned ads is the best way for me so i started getting traffic from that and then uh, step five i actually got started doing calls right uh, you know did whatsapp calls uh, talk to sovik and actually was able to get him as a client and then the last step that i want to talk about is deliver outstanding results okay now this is something that most people miss out on so i remember once i had signed sovik right and once i had like other clients I would do everything possible to make sure that they get results. Like I remember this client that I had in my early days, his name was Anand. Well, not was, but still is, right? And I would remember, I remember he had quit his job and went like all in. And I was like, oh my God, now I have not only my life, but the life of these people as well to take care of, right? And uh, I would stay up till late night making sure that uh, my clients are able to actually you know implement the strategy basically guiding them that hey do this do that do this and you know that is what helped me because you know people like anand he got like 40 clients in three months and got a new house got a new car and you know was able to actually help his mother out a lot so those were some amazing results that I got uh, by working really hard with these clients that a lot of people try to automate and productize and you know go for that freedom stuff too early 
So uh, that's that's the you know key lesson that I learned. And yeah, those are the six steps that really allowed me to launch Uability and get my first client. So I hope you know you actually learned in this video how to go about doing so. And if you are start thinking to start a business, you can literally use this step-by-step -step formula, six steps that I actually told you to go out and get clients and deliver them amazing results. And if you are uh, already a business owner, maybe you're trying to actually launch a new product line, stop overthinking, just use these six steps, go out and validate it and you know, uh, enjoy the profits that you make out of that so yeah i hope this video benefited you and if it did what i would really really appreciate is you go on and like this video by hitting that thumbs up below and subscribe to this channel i'm not going to do all that stuff hey comment this then take my dry cleaner and you know click here comment engage love love you know all those things that youtube will say basically just do whatever you can to support this channel so that i can produce more videos for you and hopefully deliver more content. And if you don't like this video and if you didn't like it, uh, I still appreciate you. Thank you so much if you've been watching for now, till now. I don't know why you're still watching. But yeah, uh, thanks and see you in the next video. You can hit pause.